I'm gonna be totally real with you guys. I'm exhausted. If you're brand new, I'm not usually this tired, but today, for the sake of authenticity, I wanted to come to you real life mama and my real life recipe for these real life days. This is a collaboration with a whole bunch of other Catholic wife, mommy, YouTubers, and I wanted to bring you some really spectacular dish, but that's not where I'm at right now. I <laughs> just really am in survival mode this week, and so I'm bringing you my survival mode dish. That being said, not all the moms in this collab are gonna be in survival mode, so check that playlist link below, and I'm sure you'll be flooded with fabulous recipes. But for the keep it simple survival mode, I got you. I got you. <laughs> okay, let's make this pasta. I think I'll call this recipe Hot Mess Mama Friday Pasta. <laughs> I know you already know how to make noodles, but I just wanted to show you the pasta we're trying today. This is the Pau protein pasta, and they have chickpea, red lentil, and green lentil in this bag. And I was actually surprised how yummy it actually was. We went with the red lentil today. And today we're gonna be adding salmon to our pasta. Did you know the little bones in the salmon containers are actually edible? I had to look that one up, but they are very calcium rich. You can also use tuna for this. We've used sardines for this recipe as well. I added five cans of salmon for this particular dinner, but you figure out what ratio of pasta to protein your family enjoys. If you're trying to feed a crowd, this one's great to bring to a party. Just bring, make it with tons of noodles and then it stretches a really long way. Uh-oh, not for kitties. Now that we've got all the protein we want in there, we're gonna go ahead and add some avocado oil mayonnaise. And you can get this particular mayonnaise at Costco. It is delicious. I've seen it sold other places, but the best price was at Costco. Primal Kitchen Avocado Oil Mail, yum. Now I'm gonna add some mixed vegetables. Usually I just add peas to this recipe, but we had mixed vegetables on hand today, so mixed vegetables it is. This recipe is customizable. That's what I love about it. It's very forgiving. So after we've done all that, we're gonna mix it all up, stir it together. As far as I'm concerned, this pasta is done, but let's take it to the next level with a little bit of black pepper. And we're also going to be adding some nutritional yeast. This tastes like cheese. It's delicious. We're gonna add that to the pasta as well. A little bit of pink salt to taste. Really yummy. And if you wanna take it to the next level, throw in some chunks of cheese. That's a fun surprise. My kids just love it when they, I do this. I don't do this every time, but today's special. And dinner is served. My favorite way to eat this is on top of a bed of lettuce or other greens. Today it's collards and beet greens and just throw this on top. And I like to season mine with a little bit of spiciness because everything's better with a kick. So I'll throw on some cayenne pepper and crushed red peppers to mine. And that is just the way mama likes to eat hers. The kids eat theirs with a small side salad. Finally, just wanted to mention this packs up so easily and stays yummy in the fridge. It's good cold or hot and it is just such a simple meal to have on hand on Fridays. I plan on doing some more recipe videos this Lent of other meatless meals that we are cooking up and if you want to see the schedule for the ones I'm going to be cooking, you can look in the description box below. You can hit the subscription and the bell notification icon if you want to get updates about those. And God bless you. I'm praying for your health, well-being, sanity, <laughs> all of the above. God bless you.